Hey guys, it's Ed from Experimental Airlines out at the uh, football field doing a little uh, multi-copter flying. Yes, I've gone over to the dark side somewhat. And I uh, just wanted to show you a few ideas for a uh, ground station that I've been working into getting everything needed to fly in this one little case right here, both for multi-copters and for fixed wing. Inside the case, we have a ready-made RC, 900 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz. I'm using the 1.3 gigahertz receiver. And I'm using a immersion 25 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter as the repeater. So the signal will be received on 1.3 at long distance and then transmitted in the local area by the 5.8 gigahertz right to my Fat Shark video goggles. I also have the Turner G9X with the Dragon Link installed, variety of antennas, batteries. Also have a couple of really nice 5.8 gigahertz uh, antennas from Horizon FPV, made in Wales. This is the Blackhawk helical antenna, and this is the Nimrod circular polarized transmitter antenna. I can use these in various combinations to either place the ground station far from where I'm actually sitting, so I can put the ground station up on a hill or out in a field and I can sit in my car or under a tree in the shade, um, or I can put this on, directly on the goggles and fly 5.8 gigahertz on the aircraft itself. So I'll show you how I deploy the ground station. First I take the tent pole out to length, like that, sits in a little jack or socket right there in the corner so that the case itself serves as the base of the uh, base station so it won't get knocked over. And today I'll just use an inverted V, 1.3 gigahertz, and I'll use my Nimrod on the 5.8 gigahertz repeater. Just hook this up to a battery here. Fire up the fat sharks with one of my own little homemade circular polarized. These are just little protective caps as to remind me to put the antenna on as well as to protect the SMA connectors. It's just a piece of surveyor's tape uh, on the SMA cap. So we got Dragon Link control, receiver on the quad, the 1.3 gigahertz video transmitter here, inverted V antenna, and that's ready to fly. So here's the top of the ground station starting with the inverted V antenna on 1.3 gigahertz, 1.3 gigahertz uh, receiver. Here's the 5.8 gigahertz a repeater transmitter. It's two, 25 milliwatts, plenty good for at least 100 feet or so in the general vicinity, probably more. Here is my Nimrod a circular polarized antenna that retransmits the signal to the video goggles. By comparison, this is the 250 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter that comes with the Fat Shark goggles. I did install a heat sink as it's not getting much airflow on the ground here. It just turned out to be kind of overkill to have 250 milliwatts. So I'm going to install this on an aircraft and use this lower powered transmitter as my uh, repeater. Of note, there's the Blackhawk cir circular polarized helical 5.8 gigahertz. This could be used to repeat the 1.3 gigahertz a signal received from the aircraft and transmit it back all the way over there to my truck where I could sit in air conditioned comfort. Be sure to check out the links below for a product page as well as a discount on the Blackhawk and the Nimrod and other Horizon FPV antennas. Now while this repeater arrangement has obvious advantages such as being able to locate the pilot and the ground station in separate uh, positions as well as freeing you up from wires uh, leading to your goggles which could get caught up in the airframe on launch etc it's it would be correct to observe that this definitely has some some caveats and weaknesses one is it's it's one more additional uh, single point of failure which is if this video transmitter antenna or power supply fails then you're going to lose the entire video link too so far i've had excellent uh, success with this and i trust this uh, video transmitter it's very low power it doesn't get warm and it seems to work uh, fine and the signal uh, appears to be pretty clear, not quite as clear, I would estimate about 90% as good as a hardwired had the video signal been taken out of the receiver and sent straight to the uh, video goggles by a, a signal cable. So thank you very much to William at Horizon FPV Antennas, and you can also check him out on FPV Tests on YouTube.